guys, I'm back here with another primary arms optic review, overview, review. This is the GLX two power optic. So these are very cool. They've been out for a little bit. Um, very cool optic, very nice. I've already kind of peeked through it and everything. I haven't taken it out to the field yet, but we will definitely do that. But there's the box. There is the reticle. The CQB M5 556 by 39 optic. They also had the 762 and the 300 blackout version of this also. So, a little bit of information there. A little bit more information right there. Yes, this is daylight bright, folks. People want to know if it's daylight bright. Yes, this is daylight bright. It's also got the auto live. You can turn it on and set it down after a period of time it will turn off and then when you move it it will turn back on all right here's your prism and your uh all your uh, aftermarket mounts and spacers and things like that comes with a few of them in here you get your normal uh manuals cleaning cloth some loctite First of all, in the box, you got several different screws. There's actually a, several packs in here, like three packages of them, of different screws, different lengths. They've all got thread locker already on them. You can see there for different mounts, for the different heights. And this does come with a couple of different mounts already. So there's one there. There's a lower one right there in the package. And of course it comes with your tool and your uh, Allen wrench, which is very cool that they include that stuff in there. All right, here's what everybody's wanting. Now, I know you've probably seen some of the reviews on these before. This is the first time I'm doing one on one of these. I haven't had one of these yet, but there you go. Very cool optic. It's got night vision sightings, uh, brightness settings, that is. Uh, you see right there the N1 and N2. Goes to 11. But does it go to 11? Yes, this one does. Got your diopter back here. Kind of got a little, you know, it has an angle. It's kind of a little, little bit of a hood there to keep the brightness out, you know, keep it reflecting so much it is threaded for a kill flash very cool optic all right guys here it is mounted up right here just on this uh sag arms m4 <laughs> this, this is actually a pretty nice rifle man you know but anyway here it is mounted up glx two times two power prism scope very cool and it's a very quick very quick reticle. I mean, both eyes open, very quick. And this is just a standard mount right here that it came with that, that was already installed. And like I said, it's got two other heights, one lower and one higher. Um, I personally would maybe for with the front sight go higher, but you know, a lot of people ask and have asked me and it was a question I had before I even got any primary arms optics was that because I like iron sights. I like the run with the front sight, but the front sight post like this, um, cause they're just always there. They work, but looking through them, is it, how does this, does this block out the reticle? Well, being that it's a uh, two power, it doesn't even, even on this short, platform like this i mean it doesn't block it out it actually kind of sits as it's sitting right now it's uh kind of sits the lower part of the reticle the ranging features actually sit about where the front sight post is about right in here but however at two power it's blurred out so you really don't see it i mean you see it but it doesn't hinder you know, looking past it. So you can see, you know, so if that's something you're concerned about, even with the two power, it does not 
that does not affect this at all so and you know i'd be perfectly fine running it with this height of of uh of, of riser right here uh, i may go a little higher just because you know but i mean with my if i adjust my head like this on the stock then that whole reticle is completely above that front side post the very bottom line of the reticle is touching the top of this front side post and i haven't even sighted this in like i said I'm, I, this is just from the box so very cool so if that's something you're wondering about you know don't be i mean at two power to blur this out that's good so anything above two power you know because the cyclops is only one power but it's really not really any magnification at all so uh but it it's fine it works fine even on this front sight like this stuff like that because i've ran it like that before and uh many times and they're just fine so but anything you get above two power and above it starts blurring out that of course you get up to you know three four five six seven eight times i mean that you know especially at like six you know five and six this thing just disappears you don't even see it it might be a slight smudge maybe in there but at six and up it's it's gone so it just kind of sees right through it anyway so back to the scope we have optic here yeah this is this is excellent can't beat the acss reticle guys um i've said it many times before the acss reticle is probably the best reticle on the planet built-in ranging features built-in drop bullet comps and compensation wind holds everything i mean it's all right there and this is a cqb version of it right here so it's very quick very quick very quick you know for up close stuff it does have like i said it does have ranging features in it where you can reach out to um it ranges out to 500 so i mean not a prone position or a static position where you can take your time with the shot you can you know attempt to hit out that far and if it doesn't have that much magnification but it has that capability to reach out that far if you need to but this is mostly for 50 in between 50 and 200 meters and uh and closer like because it's got the it's got the uh, horseshoe around the chevron and that basically acts as your red dot you know with these with these with this one and the cyclops there really is no reason to run a red dot any longer I mean, you have an etched reticle that is there all the time. Both of those, and this this one, and the Cyclops are both daylight bright. So you guys that like daylight bright, they have that they have that capability. Now, I've said it before, etched reticle. You don't need to run your illumination on it. You just don't. I'm looking at dark trees, dark leaves, dark ground. I mean, I can see that reticle one eye both eyes open and very cool i mean crisp, clear, crisp and clear i'll try to get some shots of it here in a little bit of course the camera never does the justice of how clear it is and the, being the glx it's got really clear glass very transparent it's almost like you're looking into nothing and uh so very cool optic you know one of the cool things about this too is that see right here take this off when you go to adjust it you have the horizontal the elevation and vertical and all that stuff right here see this cap has that little indent right here that's your tool where you can adjust that so you don't need an extra tool with that or anything like that you already have it on there wish all their stuff had that and we just had the little rubber o little rubber holders on here hey, where you didn't lose it in the field, you know, if you needed to. But we got it. If you need it. But like I said, the etch reticle, guys. I mean, you can't beat the etch reticle. It's always there. If your electronics die for some reason, your battery dies, which is to take a standard CR032, whatever it is, the same one that they all take. Um, you can buy them by the handful at Walmart or online for dirt cheap. Um, 
but the edge reticle is always there. So, I mean, it's always there. And wasps. <laughs> uh, they're always there. So if your electronics die, the uh, battery dies, EMP happens, you have an optic that is ready to go. And you're only gonna really be using the, the uh, brightness setting, you know, illumination when it's like in, in low dark, low, low light situations. So, try to get some uh, images of the uh, reticle. It's really hard to do, but we will try to get some. Well, there it is, guys. I tried to do the best I could on that, uh, on those images. It's hard to do it with the camera. Um, but yes, I'm a big fan of the ACSS reticle. I love it. I love the, I love primary arms optics. And everything that I've gotten from them has been spot on, excellent. These, they, they offer a lifetime warranty if anything ever goes wrong with it. Um, they'll replace it, fix it, whatever. They offer that and I'll put the links down below to all their all their ACSS stuff. If this one's not something that you're looking for, if you want something a little different, something with more magnification, different reticle, they offer several different options of the ACSS. If you just have to go through and pick which one's going to work best for you, you know, because uh, for your situation, your applications, things like that. So, very cool optic, very cool optic, very cool from Primary Arms, and uh, you know. If you, order, if you use the links below um, on some of the optics, not all of them, some of them you can get, a, it depends on which one you pick, you can, they'll, they'll offer you a free anti-reflection device or a kill flash. And then some of them, on some of the optics, they'll offer you a free mount for like a, you know, LPVOs and stuff like that so you can mount it up. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So if you use those links below, it helps the channel out and you get something out of it too so and it's like that's not on all of them it's on it's not on quite a few of them though but not on all of them but uh still the optic itself outstanding optic i really like this one I, i'm ready to take it out and go shoot it I, I like it i like a little bit of a magnification but it's not overpowered and uh crisp and clear excellent excellent very cool um i know these been out for a little bit but this is the first one I've gotten of it, and uh, excellent optic. And guys, they've got a bunch of newer stuff coming out too. So they got some pre-orders up and things like that for some of the new stuff. The new, some of the new stuff looks really, really cool, really cool. So anyway, I hope to get some of that stuff soon and review that. And that's you know why I put the links up there. It helps the channel out and uh, allows me to bring this stuff to you so you can see it and gives you an option to look at so you can. Uh, Make a decision on what optic you want to get if you decide to get one. So anyway, I highly recommend the ACSS from Primary Arms. Very cool stuff. Dimitri, outstanding design, brother. Outstanding design on it, on the reticle. Outstanding. Anyway, that's it, guys. Keep it heavy.